Hey everyone, thank you very much for joining us. I am so excited to kick off the Diablo segment of our show, and I am honored to be here on behalf of all of our Diablo teams to share the news and updates we have in store for you today. We've got a lot of Diablo to cover, and I hope you'll agree with me that it's a great time to be a member of this community. All right, let's kick things off with Diablo 4. We first shared our game with you during BlizzCon of 2019, and we've been truly humbled by your response. We've kept in touch through quarterly updates and sincerely appreciate the thoughts and valuable feedback you've provided as we unveil more and more of the game and share in its development. After all, Diablo belongs to you as much as it belongs to us. Most recently, we teased an update to our campfire screen and savvy fans, of course, understood that we meant more than just the character lighting and fire visual effects. That's right. Today, we're happy to announce a brave new soul joining the barbarian, the sorcerer, and the druid on this dangerous journey back to sanctuary. A class is one of the most exciting things you can announce in a Diablo game. This one is especially exciting to me as it's a re-envisioning of one of the first classes to ever appear in the series. Let's have a look. I was a thief who stole from those more fortunate. I strayed from your light and found my trade in the shadows. They call it murder. I say, job well done. Those monsters would a scourge upon my flock. And you... Oh, you were the answer to their prayers. Then we are settled. And you owe me. The name you see is... Thank the heavens for you. Heavens, I assure you, Father, the heavens didn't send me.
the sound of that ear getting pierced by the hook is so brutal. I feel like it's gonna haunt me for a long time. I've been a huge fan of the Rogue ever since the original Diablo. Even seeing them come back as NPCs and mercenaries in Diablo II's Rogue Encampment served as a great bridge between the games. With the setting of Diablo IV being a larger world than we've ever played in before, we're excited to show you not just what the successors to the original rogues in the series have been up to since the fall of their order, but also what some of the other rogues in the world of Sanctuary might look like. The mantra for Diablo IV has been customization first, and the rogue takes this to a whole new level. From the beginning, the rogue has been an incredibly flexible class, able to adapt to any situation. Our goal is to let you create the kind of rogue that you want to play. Whether it's an unrivaled archer modeled after the original sisterhood, or a cloak and dagger rogue from the darkest alleys of Chaldeum, in Diablo 4, you will have the freedom to create the rogue that you imagine by customizing the looks, the background, and the playstyle of your character. Please stick around for our segment later today where I'll be joined by other members of the Diablo 4 team to share a closer look at the Rogue class, as well as some of the open world gameplay that we're bringing to the game. Spoilers, those severed ears are not just for show. But Diablo 4 is not the only Diablo game we're talking about today. If you're looking for an authentic Diablo experience on mobile, we've got you covered. Diablo Immortal has everything you'd expect from a triple-A action RPG. From the visceral combat and epic loot to an all-new story, bridging the gap between the events of Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. Later today, you can join the Immortal team where they'll talk about some of the things they've learned from their recent alpha test and what's next for the game. But that's still not all. We have one last bit of very exciting Diablo news to cover. When you hear us talk about the classes, the items, or the stories of the early Diablo games, you may have picked up on the absolute reverent tone we reserve for that golden era of Diablo. Maybe you share that love of the classics, and just hearing us talk about them makes you want to take on Mephisto or Bale one more time, or maybe even for the first time. After all, some of our favorite moments happened a long time ago and not just in Sanctuary years. If so, we have a special surprise for you today. Let's check it out. After more than 20 years, the Dark Wanderer has returned. And once again, he travels east, always east. 
Diablo 2 is a landmark game for Blizzard. Diablo 2 Resurrected is a full HD remaster of both the original game and the expansion, Lord of Destruction. It takes the 2D sprite-based classic that we love and brings it into the present in 3D, utilizing up-to-date graphical rendering and lighting technologies. It also includes modernizing all 27 minutes of cinematics, recreated shot for shot with the explicit intention of preserving both the look and the pacing of the original movies. Blizzard has a long history of games that we're proud of. And when we think about Diablo 2, we think about it as a definitive pillar in our foundation. Now, it's funny to think that some of you weren't even born when D2 was released, which makes it all the more important that we deliver an authentic experience wherever you play. We want everyone to relive their memories or experience the game for the very first time on their platform of choice. And so we're excited to bring Diablo 2 Resurrected to PC and console along with cross progression. And for those of you who are in love with the original and you just wish it worked more seamlessly on modern computers, you can bring back all of that nostalgia exactly as you remember and enjoy the game in its original 2D form, much like we did with StarCraft Remastered. Obviously, there's a lot to talk about. Later today, Diablo speedrunner Mr. Llama will host a roundtable with members of the development team on the dedicated Diablo channel. If you are a Diablo 2 fan, I encourage you to take a look. <laughs>